I'm more than slightest. There is a city in Germany where long ago it tells its story that it was suffering an invasion of rats. As we all know rats in addition to bringing many diseases, they reproduce very quickly and eat all the food of humans. In Hamelin they had tried everything to wipe out the rats, but there was no way to get rid of them. This city still exists, and the story that is said is part of the legends of the place. Well, as it was transmitted from father to child and so to this day they say, that in those days, the inhabitants of Hamelin were desperate. There was no house that wasn't overrun by that rodent army. They ate the grain to make bread, they ate the cakes, the eggs, they attacked the chickens. At night the villagers could not sleep because of the noise that rats made in search of food. They did everything to end that plague, but no more than they tried, there was no way to wipe it out. One day, uh, and another day too, the mayor would meet with his councillors to find new ways to get rid of rats. One day a minstrel appeared dressed in colorful clothes, a hat with an embellishment pen and a flute hanging from his belt. Everyone was astonished. They weren't for parties. Mayor, councillors, the flutist began to say, I'm here to solve your problem, that of rats. Kumo. They all asked. With my flute said the stranger pointing to the instrument. Hamelins were stunned. They didn't know if it was a joke I was throwing at them, a way to make them laugh, or if I was teasing them. At the end of the day he was a minstrel and he made a living. Having fun with people. Hung asked the mayor and could you explain to us how you would do that? Mayor, councillors, people of Hamelin, the flutist kept talking. You have a problem. Very serious in your people. You have tried everything and nothing has worked. I propose that you give me them opportunity to make the rats disappear from your houses. In return I ask for a payment for my services, a bag of gold. It is very easy. If I do not fulfill my work do not pay me, if, on the other hand, I clean Hamelin rats with my flute you give me my bag of gold. The mayor, faced with such a proposal, met with his counselors. He's teasing us. He's lying to us. Laugh at us. After much deliberation, they decided to give the flutist and his ridiculous proposal a chance. Totally what could they lose? Alright told the mayor if you get rid of the rats we'll give you a bag of gold. The flutist left the town hall and went to the river bank. That night when everyone was in their houses sleeping, in the darkness of the streets of Hamelin began to hear a soft, mysterious sound, and a great roar shook the houses, the inhabitants were stumped. The rats stumbled out of the corners, the barns, the sewers, the alleys. From everywhere hundreds and hundreds of rats came out and ran in one direction, to the center of the square where the Flutist was playing that mysterious music. The rats were self-absorbed contemplating the musician who did not cease in his melody. When the flutist wanted to start walking through the streets of the village with the flute performing that strange melody and most curious of all is that the rats followed them as hypnotized. All Hamelin contemplated that rare procession through its streets. The flutist in front of him playing and the thousands of rats behind him. The musician kept his word, cleaned Hamelin from rats, took them M.E.S. hypnotized by their melody to the river and there they drowned, leaving the people free from their presence. The inhabitants of Hamelin were very happy. He's a prodigy. It's wonderful.
amazing, fantastic, impressive. A day after the flutist rested and waiting for the mayor to raise the money, he approached the town hall and in the presence of the mayor told him, I have done my job. I come for the agreed payment dash. The mayor looked at him surprised. Payment? What are you talking about, Mr. Flutist? I don't know what you mean. Pay for your music in the middle of the night. Do you have any role that attests to that agreement? The flutist was dumb and I looked at him seriously. I've rid your people of the plague of rats that had infested you for years. I'm here to fulfill the promised payment. Mr. Salton Banky, the mayor told him, my advisors and I on behalf of the people of Hamelin have agreed to give you some copper coins for your music and to have walked the streets of the village at night, preventing us from sleeping placidly, as far as rats are being talked about, I don't know what you're talking about. The flutist looked at him very seriously and said, I do not need mayor payment. My music is free. I like to play in the night of light. Since you have forgotten the agreement we have, I will play again and I will charge on my own with the people of Pamela know me. Saying this the flutist left and everyone was scared. To be banned from entering the village, cried the mayor. What if he brings the rats back? Asked one. No, you threw them into the river, answered another. Why don't we pay you? Said a third. He's a flubist. He's already rid us of rats. What can he do? Replied the mayor hit us with the flute. Ha ha ha. They all laughed. Sitting on the river, the sad flutist for the poor payment he was given in Hamelin contemplated the flute. He let several days go by. One night he approached the village square very stealthy and began playing his flute. This time the sound was much more delicate, beautiful, and charming. The people of Hamelin who could now sleep peacefully and without rat noises, woke up but not because of the thunderous noise that the rats had caused, but because of the soft sound of savannas. Running. This time the children, their children, nephews, grandchildren, Hamelin's children came out of the beds bagged by the sound of the flute. They tried to stop them but there was no way. If they were put to bed, they would rise again. If they caught them tightly, the hypnotized children dragged them with the mysterious force. All the children left their homes, went to the village square, and there the flutist with the flute in his mouth guided them to the outskirts of the village and by the road leading to the mountains. Disappeared into darkness with all the children of Hamelin. They never heard from them again, and they were very sorry they didn't give their bag of gold to the flautist. As proof of that affront at Hamelin Church, there is a stained glass window recalling this event so that it is never repeated. Promises must be kept and those who work must be paid for their work.